Liz, Liz, what have you done to me? Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today's video has been in the works for a while now, but I was waiting for a couple of things to reach me. That way I can share everything with you about this shop. So Friday videos are usually dedicated to ear shops and small shops that I really love to buy from and I love to support. I really wanna get the word out there about all of these shops because they really deserve all of this recognition because they're amazing at what they do. They're the sweetest people. Most of the shops that I recommend to you guys, I'm friends with the owners. I do this because I love all of these shops. I fully support them in everything that they do. I do this because I want to. I'm not getting anything out of it. The only thing that I will get from you guys watching this video is the support. Like you guys would be supporting some of my favorite shops, you guys would be supporting some of my greatest friends. I'm not doing a very good job at explaining this, but I just really want you guys to understand that I do this because I love it. I just want my shops to be recognized. The point of me making these videos is for me to help you guys, first of all. So like if you have any questions about ear shops or small shops, I'm kind of like pointing you in the direction of one of the best ones that I've encountered. And then the other thing that I'm also doing while making these videos is I am supporting my friends. I don't know why I had to explain myself, but I just felt like I needed to get that out there so that you guys know the reason behind why I make these videos. And of course, because I just love talking about all of these Disney things and all of these Disney shops, I guess you can call it a win-win. Win. I don't know. Enough rambling. So the shop that I'm going to talk to you guys today is called Artsy Liz Flores and it is run by one of the most amazing people on this planet. The owner's name is Liz. She's become one of my really good friends. We're always messaging each other and she's just been such an amazing person to get to know through this community. So I don't exactly know how I came upon Liz's shop because it was such a long time ago. I usually remember these things. There was something that I purchased from her like a long time ago and it was this Beauty and the Beast drawing. I showed this in my Beauty and the Beast collection video. It is a drawing of Beast giving Belle a rose and it's just so beautiful. She included the frame in the purchase. I don't know where she gets these amazing frames. It's so beautiful, like it works absolutely perfect with the drawing inside. So this was the first purchase that I ever made from Liz. And then I kind of like followed her on Instagram for a while and I would like look at all of the different paintings and drawings and commissions that she would make for other people. It wasn't until like a couple of months ago where me and Liz like started talking to each other. I remember she found the Beauty and the Beast collection video like on YouTube and she watched it and she saw that I included one of her paintings and I remember her commenting on that and then she was kind of like following me and then we were I was following her it was kind of like that so after The Last Jedi came out I guess she kind of saw that I was really obsessed with Kylo Ren I was kind of telling everybody about my obsession about Kylo Ren so it was a given that she would think that you know how like when your friends tag you in like other Instagram posts she would do that to me like for Kylo Ren, Rey, like Raylo stuff. And then we started talking about like Rey and Kylo and we, have, we got into like a conversation about that. And then that's kind of like when the friendship like blossomed where we started to talk to each other about everything. And then she told me about something really special that she was doing with her shop. I of course like 100% was on board. I was like, you need to do this and I need to be the first person to purchase these from you. I don't think I even said what Liz does. Okay, so she did, <laughs> I'm just like, I'm trying to explain like how our friendship blossomed and I'm not even telling you guys about like what the shop does. So what Liz does is she takes commissions from people. She takes commissions of like Disney scenes that people want drawn or painted and she'll like do it for them and then they can purchase it. So along with her Disney drawings and paintings, she does also do Disney brooches. I'm wearing one right now. It's the D for Disney and it's like a very sparkly pink. And then recently she started making hand painted ears. I about lost it. I mean, I've seen every kind of ear in this ear Disney world, but I have never ever seen someone draw a Disney painting and put it as ears or make them as ears. So I'm gonna share that last. I'm gonna first show you guys the Disney paintings I've gotten from her. Then I'm gonna share with you the Disney brooches I've gotten and then we can talk about the amazing ears. I'm actually wearing one of her ears. These are not painted but she also made like 
regular ears like using fabric so these are ones that I'm wearing on my head that she so kindly gave to me on my birthday so I thought you know what this is perfect I'll just make it like Beauty and the Beast themed I'm wearing my Beauty and the Beast shirt my Beauty and the Beast ears from Liz I'm carrying my Beauty and the Beast painting like this is just perfect so I'm gonna start off with the Beauty and the Beast painting and you guys have seen this before but I have to show it again so there's Beast and Belle he's giving her a rose and it is inside of this beautiful rose heart frame she does have paintings that are in frames and then there are also paintings without frames and like I said you can also do a custom like scene in your favorite Disney movie and she will make that happen but I just wanted to show you guys what this one looked like up close because it's really beautiful so this is another one of her beautiful paintings that I bought it is Aladdin and Jasmine on the magic carpet ride and they're kind of just like gliding um, across a body of water and there's like the genie staring down at them in the stars which I think is so beautiful and then there's like the magic lamp over here it's so pretty guys again this was bought with the frames I just wanted to show you guys like the detailing on it like I said before there's the genie there's a lamp and it's just so beautiful the colors it's so vibrant so you guys know I'm a huge Beauty and the Beast fan huge 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 she had this available on her shop as well and I mean I needed to get it because I saw that it was Belle and Beast in the transformation scene the frame these frames I don't know where she gets these frames like I usually get like these plastic black ones that like are not this fancy but her frame choice, w along with her painting, just makes it even more magical. It's so beautiful. She also does these miniature paintings, and it's so cool because she includes an easel to put it on. This is one that she's made, and it's the scene when Beast is, like, depressed, and he's, like, looking at how the petals are just falling down and all hope is lost. Belle has left him. It's just really sad but I think it's such a powerful scene, it's beautiful, and she, of course, does such an amazing job in capturing the emotion of Beast, and of again, it's like vibrant, beautiful colors. Here's an up-close look, just for you guys to see like how gorgeous this is. And then you can also like display this easel anywhere. This is another one I purchased because it's so cute. Pinocchio is actually one of my favorite Disney movies. I love the colors in this, like the yellow, and it's just so cheery and happy. And there's Jiminy Cricket on the bottom. Oh! <laughs> yeah, this is just so cute. Again, it's on the easel, so you can like display it on a shelf. You don't have to put it in a frame. And I think that's such a cool feature. Like, I think that's even better than a frame. Like, you can just. It looks like a, a miniature painting. So now I'm gonna show you guys the brooches that she so kindly sent to me. So I ordered the Bell and Beast transformation one, I ordered Aladdin and Jasmine. I also ordered Pinocchio and the Beast on the easel and because I ordered all of that she so kindly sent me like a bunch of brooches which I'm gonna keep some for myself and I'll probably give some away like to my friends and stuff. I just wanted to show you guys the different kinds of brooches that she made because they're really cute and you can always like accessorize it on a shirt you're wearing. So the one I'm wearing is like sparkly pink and like I said it's the D for Disney. So this is one brooch that she made. It is the castle and then there's a little Mickey design that's kind of like where the gates should be. But this is so cute and it's so sparkly. Again, you can wear this like on your shirt to accessorize. So she has like different colors. I guess you can like choose which ones you want. She probably has them in pink as well. This is one of the D's for Disney, but it's really cute that she included like a little hidden Mickey over here. These are gorgeous. And here's another one that is dark blue and it has like a little snowflake on it. This is another D and it has like snowflakes. This definitely reminds me of Elsa. And here's another brooch that she sent with Mickey and Minnie kissing. And I think that's a Disneyland castle behind them. It looks like the Disneyland castle and they're like holding hands. It's so cute. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was never really that into brooches. But after she sent me all of these, I'm going to be wearing them all year round. They're so cute. It has a little bit of magic to your everyday, you know? You can walk around, people could ask you like where you got it from. So now I'm going to get into the ears. You guys are going to freak out. I freaked out. So what she does with the ears is she'll ask you the scenes of either your favorite Disney movie that you want, and you can either send her like a picture of the scene from the movie. I think that's the best thing you can do just so that she can give you exactly what you want. So you send her a picture, which is what I did, and she 
drew it and painted it and she worked her magic and turned it into a pair of ears. So the first pair that I asked for, because you guys know I am a huge Tarzan fan, I love Tarzan. I think he is super cute. I said it. I think he's super cute. I had a crush on him when I was young and I still think he's one of the most attractive Disney guys. Yeah, he's a cartoon, but you know what? That's just me. <laughs> so I really wanted her to capture the scenes of Tarzan and Jane. These are one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Just because you see like how lovable they are and how much he loves her just by the way he looks at her. There's Tarzan and Jane. Look at how lovable. Oh my god. They're just like so lovey-dovey in this scene. I love it when they're like swinging in the trees together. And I love what Jane is wearing. Like she just like stripped it off. No care in the world. She's with the man of her dreams. And then this is when he takes her to see the beautiful birds in the trees and just the way that he's looking at her. Guys, this is hand painted. I still can't get over that. And I don't even think that my camera is capturing how amazing these look in person. Over here, she added a little bit of sparkles. Liz, you are amazing. And then she asked me which bow I wanted in the middle. So you are 100% customizing these the way that you want them. And then in the back, she'll ask you what kind of fabric you want. So I chose the gold. I thought the gold would work well with this pair of ears. These are the second pair of ears that I asked for because I love Megan Hercules. I've been on, like, I've been like on a high of them. Like, I just love them so much. Like, I've always loved Megan Hercules, but... Recently, I've just been like really obsessed with them, but I chose these scenes again because I like the way that they're looking at each other This is such a cute scene when he gives her the flower and he kisses her and she's like so Like taken aback by it and she knows she's in for it like she's in trouble because she's starting to fall for him But look how cute again. She added like sparkles in certain parts of it and it just works so well again she asked me which bow I wanted and I wanted the purple one and again I chose the fabric in the back you can choose whatever fabric you want like she will ask you what 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 color do you want and she'll send you like a picture of all the fabrics she has and you get to choose from them oh my gosh I'm really surprised I don't have a Beauty and the Beast one I think I'm gonna need to ask for that one soon so the next pair of ears I wanted some Fantasyland ears because Fantasyland is my favorite land in the Magic Kingdom. So I wanted ears to represent that and I asked her to draw me Rapunzel's tower and then the beautiful sun um, design on a tangled bathroom. So here they are. Look at that. There's look, Again, there's like sparkles. She told me that she made like a hidden Mickey cloud over here. It's so beautiful. The colors. Oh my god, this one's super sparkly. So I don't know about you guys, but Liz is amazing. How is she this talented? I just don't understand. She does everything. She does paintings, drawings, painted ears, brooches, little easel paintings. Like, she does it all. Okay, so let's talk prices now because I know people are usually like, okay, this, this stuff is amazing, but how much does everything go for? Liz is such an affordable person, and I'm not just saying that because she's my friend, and I'm not just saying that because I can afford it, but I really do think that her prices are very, very reasonable. She doesn't ask for too much. So if you're getting a painting like this with a frame, it is going to cost around 30 to 40 dollars. I'm just making like an estimate of what it would be because I do remember that this was 40 I think the Jasmine one was either 40 or 30. This is like a 4 by 6 So it would be a little bit more than the miniature ones. So it's understandable again She's including the frame in this so that's why it's a little bit more I guess Higher it's not even high and it's not even high to me because I feel like 30 to 40 dollars for something like this is not that much. If you're getting one of the easel paintings like these, these are 15 dollars, which is not bad again, like I feel like it's very affordable. Again, you can customize these, so you can ask her like what scene you want, and then her brooches if you wanted to buy them are 7 dollars. So like I said, they're very affordable, very reasonable, so if you want to purchase some of her ears, they're usually 40 dollars, but because she is a 
kind human being and she's the sweetest and she loves me <laughs> she gave me a coupon code for you guys to use and you can buy the ears for $30 so $10 off and the coupon is painted ears 18 I'll put it in the description I'll put it right here so painted ears 18 when you go to check out you can put this coupon code in and it'll give you $10 off your purchase which again I think is such a steal like Liz how are you selling these for $30 I will never know and then if you're not interested in ears and you just wanted a regular painting from her she also gave me another coupon code where you will get 15% off your entire purchase using the code Disney123 so I'll again I'll put that here and I'll put it in the link down below so if you're not interested in purchasing ears and you just wanted like either a brooch or a painting or a mini easel painting you can use Disney 123 and you'll get 15% off your purchase but if you also want ears you can use the coupon code painted ears 18 however you cannot use both of these coupon codes at the same time it's either one or the other she told me to tell you guys that but you could just make two purchases like just use one purchase on the Disney 123 and then another purchase use painted ears 18 I mean that that would be me that that would be crazy me making like multiple purchases to get uh, ears and paintings. Okay, so that was pretty much everything that I wanted to explain to you guys. Like I said, Liz is amazing. She ships her things in tons and tons of bubble wrap. I have so much bubble wrap from her that I'm gonna be saving up because she knows that these are very fragile. Nothing came to being broken. No frame was broken during the process of it coming to me no brooch was broken the ears were in perfect condition so you know she takes care of your stuff when she's sending it to you I just want to say thank you Liz so much you are the best you're amazing it's been so awesome getting to know you these past couple of weeks I know I'm annoying I know I'm annoying <laughs> I'm always bugging her I'm always like so what what are you working on what kind of ears are you working on because sometimes she does like do separate ears like just for fun and she'll just put them up like for people to purchase I know she has like snow white ears available in her shop if you're a big snow white fan you should definitely go check those out it has like the seven dwarves on one ear and then snow white on the other and again if you use the coupon code you can get them for $30 she told me she's working on a couple of commissions which is amazing I'm so happy for you Liz like I want your shop to just like be one of those shops where it sells out super quick and you have to open like every once in a while because people are, are like crazy for your ears like I hope that happens because you're just amazing so I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos I know it's usually me just like promoting a shop but I promote them for a reason like how amazing is this shop come on like give it a thumbs up if you think this shop is amazing also let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite item I showed what would you want to purchase in the future would you go for a painting a brooch a mini easel painting would you go for ears I would go for the ears go for the ears guys I mean I would go for I went for everything <laughs> I basically went for everything but I would definitely go for the ears as my number one where else can you get ears like this tell me I dare you I dare you to tell me where else you can get ears like this I have never ever seen a shop that sells these and fun fact, I was the first ever person to purchase hand-painted ears from her. The Disney Ear Queen <laughs> was the first person to purchase multiple ears. I mean, I feel special. I, I feel special. I feel like Liz will always remember me now. I'm done. I'm done talking. I'm sorry. All right. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys would buy from Liz's shop. Please go follow her on Instagram, you guys. Go do it now, like you know you want to. Go check out her shop. I've already gotten some people messaging me telling me that they're thinking of getting ears from her because I did do a live when I unboxed these and everyone was like completely blown away. So I hope I've completely blown you away or she's completely blown you away because this is her work, it's not mine. Like I'm just the buyer. She's the creator. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Till next time. Bye. Oh my god. I just want like all of the Disney painted ears. I want all of them. There's so many different scenes that I want. Like there's so many to choose from. I need like Peter Pan. There's Alice in Wonderland. There's Toy Story. Winnie the Pooh. You can come in now. Your mama is done filming. It only took me an hour. Because you kept coming in and out. That's Sophie. I'm talking to Sophie, by the way. I've lost my mind. <laughs> no, you
doing that, Dad? I am done. No, it's 